this is Maylin Cott and Kelly Murphy. This episode is for the week of October 27th through November 2nd. In this edition of The Chatter, we will review the headlines at RCHS this coming week, look ahead to the important upcoming events, disclose the latest on the club scene, scuttle through all the Comet sports for the week, ingest the lunch menu, and reflect on some school trivia with the Comet question of the week. students, two from each grade level, will travel to the Morris Country Club for the annual I-8 Leadership Conference, where they will listen to keynote speaker Ted Weiss and have an opportunity to work with other I-8 students on building team leadership skills. On Tuesday, October 28th, students and teachers involved in the Safe School Ambassadors Families Program will meet during Comet Time. The FCCLA Leadership Conference takes place in Bloomington, Illinois on Wednesday, October 29th. 22 members of FCCLA will be attending this conference where they will test their knowledge about family and consumer sciences and choose between a variety of workshops. Need to retake a test or doing some studying? The Homework Depot will be open after school on Wednesday, October 29th from 3 to 4 p.m. in Mr. Stafford's room. On Thursday, October 30th, the Student Council is sponsoring a blood drive from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the auditorium lobby. Donors must be 16 years of age or older and have a picture ID. Also, all 16-year-olds must have a parental permission slip turned in to donate. You can sign up during lunch or see JJ in the library. Community members are also welcome to come in and donate. And now let's look ahead with Katie Castanero. Hi, this is Katie Castanero, and let's look ahead to some upcoming events for Reed Custer High School. The I-8 Choral Festival will take place on Monday, November 3rd at Lyle. 19 choir students were nominated by Mr. Brand to represent RCHS. There will be no will call for students on Tuesday, November 4th, who travel to Romeoville and work with the Braywood Fire Department. Students traveling to Pole City for early childhood and criminal justice will be in attendance. The character education theme for November is cooperation. Freshmen will have character education on Tuesday, November 4th, sophomores on Thursday, November 6th, juniors on Monday, November 10th, and seniors on Thursday, November 13th. The fall play, Moon Over Buffalo, will be performed in the morning of Thursday, November 6th for middle school students. The show will begin at 7 p.m. on Friday, November 7th, and Saturday, November 8th, and then at 2 p.m. on Sunday, November 9th in the auditorium. Have a great week, everybody. Hi, I'm Megan Lord, and let's look at what some of the clubs and organizations are up to. The Science Club will be meeting on Tuesday, October 28th from 3 to 4 from 210 to see the True Colors of Copper card game. If you have any questions, see Club Advisor Ms. Benoit. The Phil Club will be showing its first feature after school this Wednesday, October 29th from 3.30 to 6 in room 604. This movie was voted the 7th scariest film of all time by Entertainment Weekly. Check out this trailer. Do you like a scavenger hunt? The World Language Club will have a French Spanish Halloween scavenger hunt this Thursday, October 30th after school in Miss Olsen's room. Prizes and treats will be provided. Cost is three dollars for non-members and free for members. Bring your club card and a phone or camera to take pictures. Any Java Club, Lesbian Society members interested in attending Illinois Theater Festival? There are packets in Mr. Brand and Miss Bulab's room. The money is due this Friday, October 31st. That will do it for this episode of Comet Clubs and Activities. See you next week, Comets, and keep on clubbing. <laughs>
this is Christian Faber, and let's check in on the latest guidance gossip. Here are some upcoming college or military visits during the lunch periods in the cafeteria. Monday, October 27th, the Marines will visit. And then the next day, Tuesday, October 28th, JJC will come to visit. And finally on Friday, October 31st, Governor State University will be here. Joliet Junior College is hosting a Discover JJC event on Saturday, November 1st. This event offers tours of campus, information about pro programs, as well as financial aid and scholarship information. If you are a senior planning to attend JJC or an underclassman starting to look at options for college, plan to attend. For more information, stop by the guidance office. In order to serve the needs of the students and families, the guidance office is now open for extended hours. Monday through Thursday, the hours will be 7.15 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. On Friday, it will be 7.15 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. For additional hours, appointments may be made. Contact your counselor today. Check out the guidance counselor's blog for important information, including scholarships, testing, and upcoming importance dates. The blog is updated frequently. I'm Kayla Murphy. And I'm Miranda Ellis, and we're part of the Varsity Volleyball Team. This week, we'll be hosting the IHSA Regionals starting tonight when we play Richardson Park at 6 p.m. And if we win tonight, we'll play Beecher tomorrow at 5.30. And then Wilmington and Dwight play the game after us at 6.30. And then the winner of both games on Tuesday night will play for the championship at 6 p.m. Hope to see you there! Hello, Reed Custer. My name is Mr. Stastny, and here is your comic question of the week. How many staff members? This includes teachers, teachers' aides, cooks, janitors, etc. Does Reed Custer High School, just the high school, have? To make it easier, we're going to give you a multiple choice. Is it A, 50, B, 63, C, 72, or D, 75? Answer will be after next week's menu. Hello, I'm Zach Pidgeley, and on Monday we're having mini corn dogs and pizza. Hello, I'm Joshua Hayden, and on Tuesday, October 28th, we will have country fried steak, mashed potato, and gear on pita. Hello, I'm Mike Kessie, on Wednesday, October 29th. Lunch, we're having taco max max with fixings and barbecue rib on the road. Hi, I'm Jessica Boyd, and on October 30th, we will be having chicken patty on bun and you guessed it, pizza. What type of pizza do pilots like? Plain. Hi, I'm Charles Lugner. On October 31st, we have Bosco's Dixie Sauce for turkey fritter on bun. The answer is B, 63. That will do it for this episode of the Chatter Newscast. Enjoy the week comments and thanks for watching.